a sexy uh, uh, woman, you know, for, for, for guys, selling it to guys, or, 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 or remember the, 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 the commercial, the ad for cigarettes, they, they have, it had nothing to do with it, show you some good looking Tom Selleck kind of guy out on a horse in, on, a, on, the, on, the, on the mountains of Colorado, had nothing to do with the little Debbie's, it had nothing to do with the cigarettes. Am I right? Yes. Because the, what were they selling to you? They were selling to you an image and some a feeling. If you smoke Marlboros, you'll feel like the Marlboro Man. Anybody? Anybody? And some of you tried it, and you still don't look like the Marlboro Man. Okay. So, the subliminal messaging that I, I, and this is why I told you, this is why I said, it's, it's, it's no longer the age of just go, go get, you know, get some oil slapped on you or go, go, go you know, get, go to a service and get, get a, little, a little dose of the ghost and hallelujah, I'm, I'm going to be okay. You're going to have to know your stuff. Amen. You're going to have to know the word. Amen. You're going to have to, to combat the barrage of subliminal attack. And then, let, me say, let me just tell you, it's not a devil. The Antichrist is not some kind of powerful U.S. Senate or President or, 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 or some kind of a, a, a person that, that's global. The, 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 the Antichrist is a mental state. It's a, it's a state of mind that is attacking the minds of people that gets you to a place where you think you're okay. Where you think apostasy is where I'm okay, you're okay, and it's all right. And you know what? The church is all bent out of shape about certain sexual sins and what have you. When the issue has to do with what's in your mind. Yes. Come on. Amen. 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 The original sin was not in the Garden of Eden. Amen. My Bible says, and there was war in heaven. Lucifer, what? He slept with the other angels? No, Lucifer, what? Lucifer had a thought. Lucifer got an idea. I will make myself equal to God. God. Imagine that. Just a little old thought. Okay, Philippians 3.13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before. This one thing I do. This one thing I do. Everybody just say, point your finger. Come on. Say, this one thing I do. This one, one thing, thing I do. One thing. One, one, one thing. thing. This one thing I do. Forget about that. Watch this. Watch this. Because this is the power of focus. The, he, watch this. Focus is your ability to strip everything else of its power. If I focus on, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. When I'm worshiping God, I don't close my eyes out of spirituality or ritual, ritualism or anything. I close my eyes because I want to worship God. I want to focus on Him and Him alone. And that strips me of every distraction. I told the drummer, I said... If you, because we've been here all month long, I said, if you haven't had time to set up your drums, I said, listen, don't talk to me about it, because I don't want to be, not because I wanted to put on a good show this morning. I said, you know how I am about worship. I don't want any distractions. If you show up, fine. If you don't, I can't mess with why you're not here, why you didn't show up two weeks ago, two nights ago, why things aren't set up the way they should have been already. Listen, I don't have time because focus Completely eliminates every distraction. Amen. Focus. I'm telling you, this one thing I do. What you give attention to, you give power to. 
You forgive yesterday by focusing on tomorrow. You, you forget your sickness by focusing on your divine health. Hallelujah. Come on, this one thing I do. Come on, somebody, this one thing I do. This one thing I do. The Word of God is a seed that can be planted in your mind that can thwart, quell, and quash every bad thought that you may have, whether it's about, about religion, whether it's about your, your physical health, your mental health, whether it's about your family, whether it's about your marriage, whether it's about tithing and offerings and first fruits. It can completely remove, the focus is the key to removing everything else in your life that does not belong. Focus is the power, watch, to neutralize everything that God does not want in your life. Yes, amen. That's powerful. Focus is the power to neutralize. When something's neutralized, what does that mean? It's rendered powerless. It no longer has any authority Hallelujah. over me. Amen. Hallelujah. This one thing I Amen. do. For years, our church, for years, our church, this ministry, has supported different ministries. We have dug wells in Africa, Togo, Africa, remember? We dug wells in Guatemala for water for children with Pastor Lynn tonight. We sent the money, we sent, we sent offerings. We supported Mark and Amy Albright, remember Judy, for many, many, many years, the first several years of our ministry in Bangladesh, missionaries. We partnered with Wycliffe Bible Translators, I'm sure you've heard of that ministry um, and we're instrumental in helping to provide a translation of the Bible of, of the scriptures for the Chorty Indian people. We have sown hundreds of thousands of dollars into ministries that have graced this pulpit. And now that God has brought us full circle Hallelujah. I have the confidence and a knowing. Come on, doctor. Because if you recall, the Apostle Paul said, I am pursuing, because there's a step after faith Come on now. that you launch, because faith, faith helps me. Watch, faith is supported. This, this stage is faith. Faith helps me to stay up here. Hallelujah. But then there's a launch beyond, and, and Paul said, yeah. I am persuaded beyond doubt. Amen. Because faith is the opposite of doubt okay. and fear. But persuasion is connected to knowing. Amen. Amen. When you have knowledge. So when you launch, help me, Holy Ghost, from faith to persuasion, you go into a place of knowing. The Bible says in Habakkuk chapter 2 that the knowledge of the glory of God shall cover the earth. There is a time coming and it's now yeah. upon us. Yes. Where the knowledge, what you know, of God's glory is going to cover the earth. Yeah. And some way, somehow, I believe that this yes. little Bethlehem, yes. this little group of raggle taggled little army like Gideon's 300, like David's mighty men of valor that were just a little handful of Hallelujah. Who were once in debt. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That God can raise up a ministry that can unlock the, the seals of time. Because it, all it takes is somebody believing that 
I'm the one that God has called to do this. It is not arrogance. It is not pride. It is a confidence. It is a persuasion. It is a knowing. Just like Jesus stood before the temple and he quoted from Isaiah 61 over in the book of Luke and he said, the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh our God, is upon me this day that scripture is fulfilled to preach the gospel, to bind up the brokenhearted, to set at liberty them that are captive, to open up the blinded eyes. That is the spirit of the knowledge glory of God that is covering the earth. And that's what I believe that is going to take this, this ministry into the next season of our, of our ministry. This is what God is doing. This is why God has brought us right here to East Division to bring the power of agreement to undo the division in the kingdom and to bring and to bring that wedge between Judaism and Christianity back together. I believe that with all of my heart. I want us to sow a seed, a memorial seed, because the Bible says that when you put a seed, what you, when you release what's in your hand, God releases what's in His hand. Listen, if I did not believe this, Trust me, my wife and I 